All right, Muzzle Loader Camp 2024. Uh, RJ and I just set up camp. It's about lunchtime. We're going to have a sandwich for lunch. Um, but we are getting supper ready right now. RJ, what you got going on over here? Well, it's brown a little bit of here, deer meat. You know, get ready for this chili. That's, uh, that's some good looking deer meat right there. Yeah. That's better than what you get at the store. All right, so we're going to get a crock pot full of chili, get it ready. And then we're going to go out on uh, this muzzleloader hunt for the next two and a half to three days. Y'all you know, stay tuned. We'll keep you updated. All right, it's about 1.30. We're heading out now. We're going to try to scout a couple areas real quick, then climb in the tree. We're, we got tomorrow on our mind as much as we do today. So hopefully we can find a good place to uh, start out the evening and then um, pick right back up in the morning. Well, it's a quarter to six. And if you can tell, I'm at ground level. This is some pretty oaks in here, acres all over the ground. I've got probably four rubs within 20 yards of me. A couple of scrapes here also. Also got a food plot back here. Food plot's probably 50 yards to my left. I didn't climb because I think I could see better from ground level, plus getting in here late. It's not long before they're walking. Of course, it's also the rut here, so. The clock don't really mean anything. So, RJ set up. I'm set up. It's a cool evening. We're ready. Stay tuned. Uh, so I'm trying to do this video. I'm not real good at this because I'm new. But, uh, we got set up a little later than I like. But, you know, we're probably not going to see a deer until about 7 o'clock anyways. <laughs> That's the way it rolls. But I'm looking over some really, really thick stuff. And I got a bunch of deer trails to it. Sitting next to a deer trail. It's definitely used to my left. Got a little bit of acorns out. But a little bit of dough and heat. Tinks out. So, we'll see what happens. Get back to you later. Oh, uh, so try to keep this light out the camera or not. So, I had a lot of action this afternoon. Had a spike come through about 5.45. And he stayed around me for an hour and a half, probably. Almost got in bow range. And I seen a look to, look to be a four point about 100 yards away, moving pretty fast. <clears throat> Thought it would come up behind me, but never seen it. Then I had a, uh, start hearing some stuff bouncing behind me. Look, had a doe run out. She was quartering away pretty hard. I made a shot on her. I'm pretty sure I missed, but we're about to go find out here in just a second. See if I can find some blood. I marked a spot on Onyx, and, uh, I remember she was southwest from a tree. So I'm about to go to that spot, check it out. Then, about 645, I had another like a big deer when I looked at it like a four point. I don't know if it was the same one or a different one, but stay tuned and I'll see if we got blood. All right, it's the end of night one of this muzzleloader hunt. I didn't have any action. I didn't see anything at all, but RJ had a little action. What'd you see, man? Well, I started out seeing a little spike off to my right. I'm looking at heads very good right now because I ain't got one tag left. But uh, <laughs> And went off to my right, so I thought it was going to go behind me. It ended up coming back out in front of me, and it stayed around for at least an hour. I got a video of it eating a little bit. Then had like about a four-point small buck come same direction, but I don't know where it went. I think it went behind me somewhere. Um, and at one point, I had bushes moving out in front of me, but everything, as you can see, everything's head high. So 
couldn't see what was in there and it's a lot thicker in there than it is right here just imagine all this stuff right here just everywhere so saw bushes moving there could see what it was then i had a started hearing bushes busting my or to my left right over my right left shoulder got a look and seen the tail flickering finally i seen a doe come out she was almost dead away from me but she started turning so she was hard quartering away i took a shot but i did everything wrong jerked rushed dropped whatever you can say you done wrong i done wrong so i figured i missed her but i still was out here trying to give it an effort make sure i didn't hit her and think that i missed her I believe i missed her and then uh right at dark i had a big body deer come behind me but it ended up being a four point i can't tell if it's the same one i seen earlier or not because this was about an hour later but well at least you were in action yep but we give it a good look haven't seen any blood be back out here in the morning yep yep so let's go eat some deer chili yeah all right here's what we got for supper Ooh wee what are you looking some kind of good yeah, it sure is smelling good sure is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. how would you compare this to your chili at home Oh, this is better. <laughs> we'll see who watches this video and we'll find out. Alright, uh, about 10 to 6. Uh, just got onto the dirt road, heading back to our spots for the first morning of this hunt. So it's breezy and it's cool. So it feels good outside. Um, I just hope that breeziness is in our favor. So it's supposed to be. So we'll see. Stay tuned, we'll be live from the tree. In the tree, it just broke daylight about 20 minutes ago. It's windy, that cold front's moving in. <clears throat> it's really windy. It's also um, chilly, except I'm comfortable, I got on. I got on some good windproof clothing, so. <clears throat> I don't know how the deer will walk, uh, but it is the rut, so that trumps the weather and everything else. So we'll see. I'll pan this camera around. Let you see where I'm at. I'm in a I'm in a little finger hardwood bottom um, between two clear cuts. Um, it's about. Um, it's probably 150 yards wide across this thing. It's thick, but the sign is in here. RJ just text. I heard him shoot. He texted and said, Doe down. So, good deal. It's about 10 till 8 in the morning. Way to go, buddy. We'll see it shortly.
All right, so I'm back at the uh, truck. Seen one more doe about 150 yards away, walking dead away from it and get a shot on her. So uh, that's it, about to go find my deer. She dropped where she's at, so she, she should be easy to find, unlike last night. So let you know when we get close. All right, so come back here where this deer is. When I saw her and the other one, they were feeding that tree right there in the center of the screen, if you can see it, feeding these there. It's about 150 yards away from a tree. I feel like I can take a good shot. She come moseying through all the stick stuff and it coming around it. And she should be right next to that pine tree with the oak tree behind her right there. So let's go see. trails through here. This would be the trail she would come in on right here. Uh, let's see. Should be right up here. Hopefully. And there she is. There she is, big old nanny doe. Wishing good eating. <clears throat> y'all just seen we just walked up some hogs Mr. Mark took a shot I think uh, I don't know if I got the one he was shooting at on camera but I did him shooting saw some dirt kick up and hogs run off so we're about to go see if we got some blood well the short of it all is uh, I missed that hog so we looked um, looked back on the footage so it's like I shot right over her back so no excuse. I guess I just rushed it and she was fairly close. Close, you know. My bullet's probably shooting a little high, but I'm not gonna blame it on my equipment. Just better luck next time. See you when we get back in the tree. About three o'clock, about to head back out for the evening hunt. You see RJ back there in the back getting his stuff, dropping him off. And then I'm gonna go about a half a mile down the road to a different location. I think I'm gonna hunt around the backside of the food plot where I shot at that hog this morning. Good bit of deer sign out there. And the wind is good, so we're gonna give it a shot. Man, I wish this wind would lay down. It is windy and it's cold. I can handle the cold. I can handle the wind as far as I feel, but um, it's hard in the woods to hear things because of the wind, but it's supposed to die down right at dark, so maybe so. That'll be prime time. See you from the tree. We're up. It's a beautiful view from up here. Let me show it to you.
much of your account that has expired as well to your dear friend. I lost her in thick stuff. I don't know if she went around me or if she met her dad in the thick stuff. So, um, if she met her dad, maybe she's dead. I'm very little, very little while before I get started. Give me another shot. I'll keep you updated. Evening two is over with. Um, I seen one deer out in that food plot about 200 yards away, too far for a muzzle loader. I seen a pack of hogs really too far away. Um, but other than that, no action night. What about you, RJ? Well, I had a doe about 3.30 on that feed tree. A little bit too far away, the wind was blowing, so I didn't take a shot. That was early. That was early. It was like 15 minutes after I got to stand. Which was around 3 o'clock, 3.30. Yep. 3 yep. So, uh, she never come close enough for a shot. Then I had a year of the morning show back up, run around a little bit. I had some company from a dude in a white truck come up and ride drive down my trail or next to where I was hunting. Well, he got out of sight had a doe come running out, busting out the bushes. A little four point, real, it was a big four point, but he was chasing it. I sat right here and watched him run up 40 yards from that truck to where the dude parked and turn around and run back to the woods. And I had another, I don't know if it was a doe or a yearling, so I didn't take the shot, but it went out and fed on that tree as well. And that's pretty much what I seen enough. Well, so you left your stand out there. You gonna go back to the same area but maybe try to get a little closer to that. Yeah, a little bit closer. Oak tree, and, yeah. yeah. So, that sounds like a good plan. I'm gonna go back out there near the same area, but I don't know if I'm gonna be in the same tree. I may change it up a little bit for the morning hunt. Gonna be nice and cold in the morning. It's supposed to be in the 40s, low for like 40. So, if it ain't too windy, it'll just feel really good. So, we're gonna go back and eat the rest of our chili that we cooked yesterday. Call it night. We'll see you in the morning. All right, morning two of day three. And um, I just dropped RJ off at his spot and I pulled down here to my spot, probably a half a mile away. And we're gonna walk in. It's beautiful, it's 40 degrees, it's calm, it's clear, it is a full moon. Don't know if that's gonna hurt us or help us, but it's a beautiful morning nonetheless. So I'll see you from the tree. So I had a lot of action this morning. I seen eight or nine deer total. I shot at that one doe, pretty sure I hit her. Never seen her leave the thick area, so I think she's laying down over there, we'll see. Also had a doe and a butt buck come through. I could have shot about 20 minutes ago, but I already had one on the ground, I think. So I let her have a pass this time tonight. She might not be that lucky, but let's see if we can find this deer, find some blood. Well, down from the morning hunt, um, 
it was a beautiful morning. Um, cool, about 39 degrees. Wind was blowing a little bit, but I was comfortable. Uh, the Sitka Stratus jacket I had on, along with these uh, first light thermals, uh, kept me good and warm without any bulk, so I'm glad of that. But uh, seen one doyer, and that was all. And uh, RJ's been in the deer, though, so we'll go see what he's got. Well, never did find any blood. So he started kind of walking and looking, but ended up finding it. Old button buck wasn't what I thought, but it's meat on the table, I guess. Another successful hunt. I mean, this two man crew right here is putting deer on the ground. I mean, RJ's doing all the work. But I'm gonna say we are putting deer hey, on the ground. One all for one, one for all. We just ain't got three. We're just two musketeers. So if he will put another one on the ground tonight, I feel like three deer in three days. Yeah. We've done a good job. Yeah, successful hunt. See you back in the tree this evening. Alright, so we're up in the tree for our last evening hunt. This trip, me and Mark ain't far away, about 160 yards apart. He's watching one part of the open field, I'm watching another part, and the uh, thick stuff behind me. <clears throat> so, maybe we'll see something, get some action. It's been pretty busy right here the last few days, so maybe it'll stay that way and Mr. Mark will get a shot at a deer, or I will. Talk to you later. All right, we're back out here for the final hunt of this trip on Thursday evening. Um, it's beautiful. It's windy, but not bad. It's warmed up nice. Um, RJ is about 150, 75 yards from me. We're overlooking this um, overgrown clear cut here. And, uh, he's in the same tree as me. in the same deer. I'm just coming up down from him. And uh, we won't be looking at the same deer, but they seem to be coming out of thick stuff into this clear cut. So. This here tree is the tree for me. Finally, I got a shot off. Decent buck, I think he's an eight point. Nothing great, but um, he's good for a public land deer. Looked like a good shot. I seen him run off with a hole in his shoulder, so. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. All right, RJ's helping me track this deer. We got a good blood trip. So we'll see. I won't bore you with following this blood trail out, but he's bleeding pretty good though. So look, I love it when the leaves start to change colors. So I'll be back with you shortly. All right, we've walked up on him. Let's see what we got. First look for me. work headed to the house um, it's been a good three days um, we set up on Tuesday morning scouted on a Tuesday evening and camped and went back 
Wednesday morning and evening and then uh, this morning and this evening. The weather was great and uh, nice and cool. A little bit windy on yesterday when that cold front moved in, but it settled down, cooled off. It was nice. RJ knocked down a couple of deer, um, as you've seen, and then I got um, that eight point tonight. So um, it was good. We enjoyed it. And um, can't wait to get back out there. I hope to have y'all another video soon. Y'all stay tuned. Peace out.